Hey guys, welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. Today we're going to be doing a hot weather range test of Model Y. And by we, I mean my good friend Chris Pace who lives in Arizona. I have not been able to get access to a Model Y on the Aero wheels, the 19 inch Gemini. So Chris owns one and we were able to uh, have him do a 70 mile per hour range test in the desert in 110 degrees. So this isn't optimal conditions. We'll be doing a cold weather range test. We've already done one on the performance model Y. I'll link it right here. That's a more accurate range test, but this is 100 to 0% on flat ground at 70 miles per hour in the extreme heat in Tesla model Y. So let's see if that new heat pump and the air conditioning unit makes any difference in efficiency in extreme heat. This should be a good one and a huge thank you and shout out to Chris for doing this video for us. Thank him in the comments below. Hey, what's going on out of spec motoring viewers? My name is Chris Pace. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona, and I'm going in a road test to test the range of the Tesla Model Y. Now, we've got two Teslas in our fleet. This is my Model 3 from 2018. And then this here is the brand new Model Y. And we bought it to replace our Acura MDX. So first things first, uh, I'll show you kind of my, my rig here. So this is the three and then there's the Y and I just got, so about two years ago, we installed a 50 amp service so that I could plug in my, my mobile charger into the NEMA 1450 and charge my model three. Well, that worked out fine. Um, but I saw this guy on Amazon. So I figured, well, that's a 40 amp charger that is plug in. So it still goes into the NEMA 1450 adapter. And it was around, I think $400 and it's got a J1772 plug, but it also has a very long cord. So we can charge my car or um, my fiance's Model Y pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and unplug her and get going. Let's pull up our route plan. So we're going to, uh, sorry, El Centro. So 247 miles and we should arrive in El Centro with 5%, which should be plenty. And it's also given us the stay below 70 miles an hour to reach our destination. So if you look at this route, we're leaving the Phoenix Metro. Um, it's currently, according to the temperature gauge in the car, 93, but outside it's probably about 80. Um, today's high is gonna be about 104 in the Phoenix area. So El Centro probably will be a little bit warmer. You can see we have a few superchargers along the way. Um, the one in Yuma is a level three. So I am excited to be trying that one out on the way back. But um, you can see we also run along the border. We're gonna have a stop right at the border of Arizona and California where they do a agriculture check. So I'll make sure I get some video footage of that. It's pretty interesting. And uh, so it's, I'm hoping to leave here about 8 a.m. and we should arrive in El Centro about 11.30 to 11.40 a.m. if all things go right. And uh, so that's the route and I will be sitting right here while my fiance is driving and because um, I have some work to do. So I'll, uh, I'll be getting sort of that third person POV while she's driving. All right, here we go. We are on the Loop 202 in Chandler, Arizona right now. And we've got the speed set to 72 because according to GPS, that equals 70 miles an hour. So we're sitting right now at pretty full battery and it's uh, 91 degrees outside. So nice and warm for that battery to give us full juice.
so we have this little stretch coming through the Indian Reservation that is um, a lower speed limit and it's a divided highway so we're gonna cruise through here as quick as we can and get back to Interstate 8 on our way to California. finally made it back to the interstate. We are on I-8 now. We've been driving for a little over an hour. We have consumed 23 kilowatts and we've gone 79 miles. We have 170 miles to go and about two hours, 24 minutes. We should get there about 11.53. Uh, the Tesla's already telling us to keep it below 70, which is fine because that's the speed we're gonna be trying to hit. And it's a nice cloudy day, so too, not too taxing on the air conditioning. Um, there's been a pretty decent amount of traffic, so um, we'll just keep rolling, but it should be pretty flat for the next hour or so until we hit Yuma and then we go up over a little ridge and then uh, flat again until we get below sea level on the other side of the Colorado River. Um, we will pass the sand dunes just west of Yuma which is super cool and I'll get some b-roll of that that'll be pretty neat. battery too low message and we burned 73 kilowatts so good job to the to the driver and we're gonna go charge this puppy up all right well here we are we're at the supercharger so we're gonna go ahead and juice this thing up I hope you enjoyed the 70 mile per hour range test um, we are in El Centro, California. It is very hot outside and we're about a hundred miles from beautiful San Diego. So we're gonna cut this off and uh, hope you enjoyed and be sure to uh, follow Out of Spec Motoring, hit subscribe. Kyle will fill you all in on the rest. Bye. So a huge thank you to Chris for doing this. He did 253 miles at 70 miles per hour using about 73 kilowatt hours. I think the packs have about 74 when new. He had just taken delivery of the car, so he got almost everything out of that pack. Now, the interesting thing is uh, my colleague, Tom Malagny at Inside EVs just did the same test. He got about 15 miles more at 70 miles per hour, but that is, uh, you know, he was in normal 70 degree temperatures. So the heat definitely does affect it a little bit. This wasn't a complete loop, so I don't know if we can consider it a true range test, but it was an awesome thing for Chris to do a great data point and it shows just how well a Model Y does in the hot weather. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to Out of Spec. We'll see you on the next one because we're starting our massive, massive, massive summer road trip extravaganza overlanding out of our Model 3. So take a look in the link below or our previous video to learn all about that.